stay. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you! We are now on the part 2 of our lesson 5 and in this video we will talk about the multiplication and division of polynomials. Okay, let us recall the rules in multiplication of integers and the division of integers. Again, kapag sinabing integers, those are the numbers. Positive or negative numbers including the zero number. And then, for us to multiply integers, we have to find the product. If the two integers have the same sign, their product is positive. For example, positive times positive is positive. Negative times negative is also positive. Kapag naman magkaiba sila ng sign or different signs, their product is negative. For example, positive times negative is negative. Negative times positive is negative. Next, for the division of integers, kapag magdi-divide tayo ng integers, ganun din yung rules niya. Different sign, negative. Same sign, positive. But, if you will divide or kung ang zero ay magiging um, numerator, that is zero. But, if the zero is on the denominator, that is undefined. Dahil hindi natin kayang i-divide ang kahit anong number or letter sa zero kung ang zero ang denominator. Let us now proceed on the multiplication of polynomials. First is multiplication of a monomial by another monomial. So, i-recall natin kapag sinabing monomial, that is an expression with one term. Halimbawa, a, 3a, 3b, yun yung monomial. So, for the rule of multiplication of a monomial by another monomial, simply multiply the numerical coefficients and then multiply the literal coefficients by applying the basic laws of exponent. So, sa part 1, pinag-aralan natin ang laws of exponent. So, ang laws of exponent ay uh, included sa solution in multiplication and division of polynomials. So, dito, kapag magmumultiply tayo ng monomial sa monomial, imumultiply natin ang number sa number and letter sa letter. Let's have an example. First example, 3xy times 4xz. So, dito, imumultiply natin ang 3 sa 4 and then imumultiply natin ang xy sa xz. So, the resulting equation will be 3 times 4 times x times x times y times z. Okay, if we are multiplying a number, simple, imumultiply lang natin. 3 times 4, that is 12. And then, kapag naman magmumultiply tayo ng letters or ng variable, iaad natin ang exponent ng bawat magkatulad na variable. So, dito, since may dalawang x, ibig sabihin, iaad natin yung exponent ng isang x, which is 1, and 1. So, 1 plus 1, that is 2. Therefore, the final answer is 12x squared yz. Question, bakit naging yz lang yung final answer ng y times z? Dahil magkaiba sila na variable, pagtatabihin lang natin yung dalawang variable. Second example, negative 8x squared y cubed times negative 9xy to the 8th power. So again, imumultiply lang natin yung dalawang numerical coefficient, negative 8 times negative 9, and then imumultiply or pagtabihin natin yung magkakatulad na variables, x squared and x and y cube and y to the 8th power. Okay, i-recall natin kapag magmumultiply tayo ng variable, kukopyahin lang natin yung variable, and then i-add yeah, lang natin yung exponent nila. Kapag wala kayo nakitang number sa upper right ng isang variable, that is considered to 1. So magiging 2 plus 1. So the final answer is 72 x cube y to the 11th power. Because 8 times 9 is 72, magkatulad ng sign, therefore that is positive because negative times negative is positive. And then 2 plus 1 is 3, 
and 3 plus 8 is 11. And that is the final answer. Next is multiplication of a monomial by a polynomial. Kapag sinabing monomial, one term. Kapag naman sinabing polynomial, it's either binomial, trinomial, or more than one term. To multiply monomial by a polynomial, simply apply the distributive property and follow the rule in multiplying monomial by a monomial. So let's have the example. First example, negative a cubed times 4a minus 3. So we will apply the distributive property dahil magmumultiply tayo ng monomial sa polynomial. So ang 4a minus 3 ay binomial. Kapag magmumultiply tayo ng monomial sa any polynomial, i-distribute natin ang monomial sa bawat term na nasa loob ng parenthesis. So that will be negative a cube times 4a minus, since minus yun nasa loob ng parenthesis, minus, uulitin natin, negative a cube times positive 3. Again, ang sign na negative dito ay minus sign, hindi siya negative sign ng 3. Kung mapapansin nyo na doble yung negative a cube, ito ay dahil dinistribute natin or pinamigay natin ang negative a cube sa 4a at sa positive 3. And then, we will now simplify. The final answer is negative 4a to the 4th power plus 3a cube. Paano ba naging ganito yung final answer? So, isa-isahin natin. Negative um, a cube is the same as negative 1 a cube. So, yung negative 1, imumultiply natin sa 4, kaya naging negative 4. Because negative times positive is negative. Different sign negative. Tandaan ng mga rules na multiplication and division of integers para hindi tayo magkamali sa final answer. Okay, next is a cube and a. So, walang nakalagay na number that is 1. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. Kaya ang negative a cube times 4a is negative 4a to the 4th power. Next, negative times negative is positive. Kaya naging plus. And then, walang nakalagay na number automatic that is 1. So, 1 times 3 is 3. And then, since a cube lang ang nakalagay dito na literal coefficient o yung may variable, kinopya lang natin since walang variable ang 3. Next example or another example, 3ab, uh, 3abc times 4a squared plus 3a minus 5. Again, let us apply the distributive property. I-distribute natin ang 3abc sa 4a squared plus 3a minus 5. So, the resulting equation will be 3abc times 4a squared plus 3abc times 3a minus 3abc times 5. Again, pinamigay natin ang 3abc sa tatlong term. And then, since may plus and then minus, ganun yung gagawin natin operation. So, let us now simplify. The final answer will be 12a cubed bc plus 9a squared bc minus 15abc. So, isa-isahin ulit natin paano naging ganyan yung final answer. 3 times 4 is 12. Pareho silang positive, therefore positive din yung final answer. And then, kung mapapansin nyo, may abc dito tapos dito sa 4a squared lang. So, i-match natin yung a sa a. Walang nakalagay na exponent, that is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then, since walang bc dito, kinopya lang natin yung bc ng 3abc. Next, 3 times 3 is 9. Kopyahin yung plus. And then, a and a, so a times a is a squared. Because 1 plus 1 is 2. And then, kinopya lang din natin yung bc dahil walang bc ang 3a. Next, negative times positive is negative. Magkaiba sila ng sign, negative. 3 times 5 is 15. Walang nakalagay na variable or letter ang 5, so kinopya lang natin yung A, B, C, and that is the final answer.
Next is multiplication of a polynomial by another polynomial. To multiply polynomial by another polynomial, each term in the multiplier is multiplied by each of the terms in the multiplicand. Then, the products are added and similar terms are combined. Let's have the example. So, sa multiplication of polynomial to, uh, to polynomial, meron tayong ginagamit na dalawang method. First is the distributive method or yung tinatawag natin horizontal form at meron din tayong tinatawag na vertical form. If we have the example for m minus 4 times 2n squared plus 2m minus 3, so kanina ginamit natin yung distributive method kung ang nakalagay dito ay one term lang or monomial. So dito, since meron tayong binomial, and then trinomial, ibig sabihin, i-distribute natin ang bawat term ng binomial na ito sa nasa loob na parenthesis. So, dalawang beses tayo magdi-distribute. Una, i-distribute natin yung m sa 2m squared plus 2m minus 3. Tapos, i-distribute din natin ang tatlong term na ito sa negative 4. So, ang kalalabasan ay m times 2m squared plus 2m minus 3 minus 4. So, ang m na ito, ito yon, And then, yung minus 4, ito yung nasa pangalawang term. Minus 4 times 2m squared plus 2m minus 3. So, kung mapapansin nyo, naulit ng dalawang beses ang trinomial dahil dalawang term ang nasa kaliwa. So, for us to multiply this one or to simplify, we have to multiply m to 2m squared, m to 2m, and m times negative 3. Dito naman sa negative 4, we have to multiply negative 4 sa 2m squared, negative 4 sa positive 2m, at negative 4 sa negative 3. So let us now simplify. The resulting equation will now become 2m cubed plus 2m squared minus 3m minus 8m squared minus 8m plus 12. So, isa-isahin natin paano naging ganyan yung resulting equation. So, m times 2m squared is 2m cubed. Walang nakalagay na number dito, automatic that is 1. So, 1 times 2 is 2. And then, kapag walang nakalagay na exponent, that is also 1. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. Tandaan na ang pagsusolve sa exponent ay addition kung multiplication ng polynomial. Kapag naman division of polynomial, ima-minus. So dito, since tayo ay nasa multiplication of polynomial pa lang, i-add natin yung mga exponents. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Next, m times 2m is 2m squared. 1 plus 1, 2. May number dito, so 1 times 2 is positive 2. Next, m times 3m is 3m. Ah, sorry. m times 3 is 3m. Kinopya natin yung negative sign dahil positive yung m. So, positive times negative is negative. Next, dito naman tayo sa negative 4. Negative 4 times 2m squared is negative 8m squared because 4 times 2 is 8. And then, kinopya lang natin yung m squared dahil walang exponent, ah, walang variable ang 4. Next, Negative 4 times positive 2m is negative 8m. Because negative times positive is negative. Ganon din dito. And then last, negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Because negative times negative is positive. Next, kailangan nating pagsamahin yung magkakatulad ng exponent. So dito, mayroong magkatulad na exponents, ang positive 2m squared at ang negative 8m squared. And then, ganun din ang negative 3m at negative 8. So, pagtabihin natin yung magkakatulad ng exponents. And then, uh, let us now simplify by subtracting or adding the same terms. So, this will become 2m cubed plus 2 minus 8 is negative 6. So, negative 6m squared plus negative 3m minus 8m is negative 11m. Plus 12. Kapag mag a tayo ng polynomial, hindi natin i-add ang exponent. Kokopyahin lang natin yung variable at yung exponent. 
mag a lang tayo ng exponent kapag multiplication. And then next, let us now simplify. Since magkakaiba na sila ng exponent, let us now have the final answer which is 2m cubed minus 6m squared minus 11m plus 12. Next, sa vertical form naman, katulad ng uh, ito ng pagmumultiply ng 3 digits or 2 digits number. So let us write 2m squared plus 2m minus 3 and then sa baba niya yung m minus 4. Kapag magmumultiply tayo ng polynomial, sisimulan natin dito sa kaliwa. Hindi katulad nung numbers lang or digits lang, sinisimulan natin sa kanan. So dito, kabaliktaran. So kaliwa muna, i-multiply natin yung m sa 2m squared, positive 2m, and negative 3. And then, yung negative 4 naman, i-multiply din natin mamaya. So simulan natin yung m. m times 2m squared is 2m cubed. m times positive 2m is positive 2m squared. And m times negative 3 is negative 3m. Next, let us now multiply negative 4 sa 2m squared, positive 2m, and negative 3. So, negative 4 times negative 2m squared is negative 8m squared. Negative 4 times positive 2m is negative 8m. And negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. Kapag magsusulat kayo ng uh, inyong equation, kailangan magkakatapat yung magkakatulad ng exponent. So, dito, 2 sa 2, 1 sa 1. Okay, so let us now add. So, bring down positive 12, and then negative 3m and negative 8m, that is negative 11m. Dahil magkatulad sila ng sign, ia-add, and then copy the, ex uh, copy the sign of the bigger number. Next, Different sign ang positive 2m squared at negative 8m squared. So, isusubtract natin. So, the answer is negative 6m squared. And then, bring down 2m cubed and that is the final answer. So, kung mapapansin nyo, magkatulad lang yung sagot na nakuha natin sa distributive method at sa vertical form. Let us now proceed on the division of polynomials. First is the division of a monomial by another monomial. To divide a monomial by another monomial, simply divide the numerical coefficients and follow the rule in dividing monomial by a monomial. We have the example 25x to the 5th power y squared z cubed divided by 5x y cubed z squared. So, kapag magdi-divide tayo ng monomial sa monomial, kapag sinabing monomial, one term, so one term sa one term, um, i-divide lang natin ang numerical coefficient o yung constants, and then, i-subtract natin ang exponents ng bawat variable or ng bawat literal coefficients. So, this will become 25 x to the 5th power y squared z cubed divided by 5x y cubed z squared. So, let us just divide 25 divided by 5 is 5. And then, pagsamahin natin yung mga exponents ng bawat variable or ng bawat literal coefficient. So, again, kapag walang nakalagay na number, that is 1. So, 5 minus 1 ng x, 2 minus 3 ng y, and 3 minus 2 ng z. Kapag magsusubtra kayo ng exponent ng mga variable, palagi pong unang isusulat ang nasa numerator. Okay, so let us now subtract. This will become 5x to the 4th power y raised to negative 1, z raised to 1. So kapag magsusubtract, palagi pong um, i-consider ang mga signs. So kung mapapansin nyo, ang exponent ng y ay naging negative 1. Ibig sabihin, kailangan nating alisin ang y sa numerator. And then, yung may exponent na 1 or positive 1, aalisan na natin siya ng 1. Simply, z na lang yun. So, the final answer will become 5x to the 4th power z over y. Kapag may exponent na negative 1, automatic, iyon po ay mapupunta sa denominator. And then, yung may mga positive uh, positive na exponent, palagi po silang nasa numerator. Kung iyan ay y raised to negative 2, ang ilalagay nyo dito sa denominator ay y squared. 
Another example, 88 d cubed r cubed divided by 11 d squared r. Again, i-divide lang natin ang dalawang numerical coefficients or dalawang numbers or constants. And then, isusubtract lang natin yung exponents ng magkakatulad na variables. So, magiging 88 divided by 11 ay 8. d raised to 3 minus 2 r raised to 3 minus 1. So, 3 minus 2 of d and r minus 1 of r. So, the final answer will be 8 d r squared. Because 3 minus 2 is 1, so hindi na tayo maglalagay ng d raised to 1, automatic d na yon. And then, 3 minus 2 is 2. And that is the final answer. Next is the division of a polynomial by a monomial. Kung kanina, monomial sa monomial, dito naman, dividing polynomial to monomial. So, to divide a polynomial by a monomial, each term of the polynomial is divided by the monomial. So, let's have the example. First example, 4x raised to 8 plus 6x raised to 6 minus 2x raised to 4 minus 10x squared over 2x squared. So, kapag sinabing over, that is division. So, kung kanina, monomial sa monomial, dinivide lang natin ang isang uh, constant sa isang constant. Dito naman, isa-isa natin i-divide ang bawat term na nasa numerator doon sa given denominator, which is monomial. So, this will become um, 2x raised to 8 minus 2 plus 3x raised to 6 minus 2 minus x raised to 4 minus 2, minus 5x raised to 2 minus 2. So, isa-isahin natin bakit naging ganyan yung resulting equation. So, ang 4x to the 8th power ay dinivide natin sa 2x squared. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then, isusubtract lang natin yung exponent na 8 sa 2, kaya naging 8 minus 2. And then, proceed naman tayo sa pangalawang term ng numerator. Uh, positive 6 divided by positive 2 is positive 3, and then 6 minus 2. Next, negative 2, since negative ang sign ng pangatlong term, negative 2 times, uh, sorry, negative 2 divided by positive 2 is negative 1. Or, simply, wag nyo nang isulat yung 1. Automatic, kapag may nakalagay na variable, iyon po ay palaging 1. And then, 4 minus 2. Last, negative 10 divided by positive 2 is negative 5 and then 2 minus 2. So ngayon, na-divide na natin ang mga numerical coefficients or yung mga constants. Let us now subtract the given exponents. This will become 2x to the 6th power plus 3x to the 4th power minus x squared minus 5x raised to 0. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang exponent na nakuha natin sa 2 minus 2 ay 0. Paano nga ba kapag naging um, 0 ang exponent? Kapag po 0 ang exponent, that will become 1. Or whole number 1, mawawala na yung variable x. So the final answer is 2x to the 6th power plus 3x to the 4th power minus x squared minus 5. Again, bakit nawala yung x raised to 0? Kapag po ang base o ang number na nasa baba dito ay may exponent na 0 that is always equal to 1. So kung ang x raised to 0 ay naging 1, 5 times 1 is 5 or negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Halimbawa, ang may exponent na 0 ay 100. So 100 raised to 0 that is also equal to 1. Second example, 24b squared c minus 32b to the 5th power z, uh, c cube divided by 8b squared c. So, ganun pa rin, iisa-isahin natin i-divide ang mga terms sa numerator dun sa given monomial which is yung ating denominator. So, magiging 24 divided by 8 is positive 3 and then 2 minus 2, b sa b, so naging 2 minus 2. And then C sa C, 1 minus 1. Kapag wala nakalagay, that is 1. And then, negative 32 divided by 8 is negative 4. Because negative divided by positive is negative. Different sign, negative. 
and then b sub b, c sub c, so 5 minus 2, and 3 minus 1. So let us now subtract the given exponents. That will become 3b raised to 0, c raised to 0, minus 4b cubed, c squared. So again, meron ulit na exponent na 0, yung b at yung c, automatic magiging 1 na lang yung mga yan. So 3 times 1 times 1, that is 3. So the final answer is 3 minus 4b cubed, c squared. Last is the division of a polynomial by another polynomial. So kung yung una, monomial sa monomial, and then yung kanina naman ay polynomial sa monomial, dito naman, we have to divide polynomial by another polynomial. So the process of dividing a polynomial by another polynomial is similar to that of dividing whole numbers. It is necessary that the polynomials are arranged in descending powers of one of the variables involved. So, kailangan naka-arrange muna ang mga exponents simula sa pinakamataas na exponents pababa bago tayo magdi-divide ng polynomial sa polynomial. Let us now have the example. Divide 6x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 3 by x minus 2. So, yung ating dividend ay may apat na terms at ang ating namang divisor ay may dalawang term. So, dito hindi na natin pwede nga apply yung ginawa natin kanina na may isa lang na term sa denominator. So, dito we have to follow the given steps. First step is to write in this form yung ating dividend at ang ating divisor. So, paano lang tayo nagdi-divide ng mga whole numbers? Ang kaibahan lang, meron na tong kasamang variable. So, let us now have the first step. Arrange both dividend and divisor in descending or ascending powers of common variables, giving a space or replacing the missing term with zero. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung ating dividend ay naka-arrange na in descending order. Since ang highest exponent natin ay 3, sinunda ng 2 and then 1 and then 0 or yung simple, uh, yung simple constant. So, proceed na tayo sa second step. Divide the first term, uh, first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the quotient. So, sabi dyan, we have to divide the first term of the dividend to the first term of the divisor. So, we have to divide 6x uh, cubed by x. 6 divi uh, 6x cubed divided by x is 6x squared. And then, Paano nakuha yung 6x squared? 6 divided by 1 is 6. And then, kapag nag-divide tayo ng variable, ima-minus natin yung exponent. So, 3, 3 minus 1 is 2. And then, yung sagot na nakuha natin ay itatapat natin sa may exponent na 2 sa ating dividend. Next step is to multiply the entire divisor by term of the quotient and write the product under the dividend of similar terms. So, kapag nakuha na natin yung first term, kailangan nating i-multiply ang 6x squared sa buong divisor. Tapos, yung makukuha natin sagot, ilalagay natin dito sa baba. Kailangan magkakatapat yung magkakatulad ng um, exponent. So, 6x squared times x is 6x cubed. Because 6 times 1 is 6. And then, kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng variable, I-add natin yung exponent. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. Kung mapapansin nyo, magkatulad lang sila. And then, 6x squared times negative 2 is negative 12x squared. Next is the fourth step. Subtract similar terms. Apply rules in subtracting polynomials. So, kapag magsusubtract tayo ng polynomials, we have to apply the rules in subtraction of integers. And that is keep change, change, so, or KCC. So, ikikip natin yung negative sign ng 3x squared, and then, iti-change natin yung minus, magiging plus, and then, iti-change naman natin yung sign ng positive 6x cubed at negative 12x squared, so, magiging negative and positive. And then, proceed tayo sa subtraction. So, 6x squared and negative 6, uh, 6x cubed and negative 6x cubed, that is 0. So, proceed tayo dito. Negative 3x squared and positive 12x squared. 
Magkaiba na sila ng sign that is subtraction and then copy the sign of the bigger number so the answer is 9x squared. Because 12 minus 3 is 9 and then since ang sign ng 12 ay naging positive, therefore ang 9 ay magiging positive. And then remember kapag tayo ay magma-minus or mag add ng terms or ng polynomials, kokopyahin lang natin yung exponent. Next, proceed tayo sa fifth step. Bring down unused terms of the dividend. So dito, since meron na tayong nakuhang sagot na 9, uh, 9x squared, i-bring down na natin yung positive 2x. Sixth step is to divide the first term of the difference by the first term of the divisor to get the second term of the quotient. So dito, katulad lang ng ginawa natin kanina, let us divide 9x squared plus 2x doon sa x or 9x squared divided by x. 9 divided by 1 is 9, and then x minus 1 is 1. Kaya magiging positive 9x. Again, kapag mag-divide um, mag tayo ng exponent, kailangan nating i-minus. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. And then, proceed tayo sa last step. Repeat steps 3 to 6 until the result of subtraction is 0, or the degree of the term of the difference is less than the degree of the divisor. So, ipagpatuloy lang natin hanggang sa magkaroon ng remainder. So, na-divide na natin ang 9x squared sa x. So, ang sagot ay positive 9x. And then, yung positive 9x naman ay i-multiply na natin sa divisor. So, positive 9x is a uh, uh, positive 9x times x is positive 9x squared. And then, positive 9x times negative 2 is negative 18x. Proceed na tayo sa subtraction. Palitan ng sign ng minus, magiging plus. Ang sign ng pangalawang 9x squared ay magiging negative. At ang sign naman ng negative 18x ay magiging positive. And then proceed tayo sa solving. 9x squared minus 9x squared is 0. Positive 2x and positive 18x will now become positive 20x. And then, let us now bring down yung natitirang term which is positive 3. And then proceed ulit tayo sa division. 20x divided by x is positive 20. Because ang x dito ay may 1. May 1 din na exponent ang x dito. So 1 minus 1 is 0 or hindi na natin ilalagay yung variable x. And then proceed tayo sa multiplication. 20, div uh, 20 times x is 20x. And 20 times negative 2 is negative 40. Let us now subtract. Palitan ng minus ng plus. Neg uh, positive 20 will now become negative 20x. And negative 40 will now become positive 40. 20x minus 20x is 0. And 3 plus 40 is 43. Since wala na tayong ibibreak down, 43 is the remainder and the final answer is 6x squared plus 9x plus 20. Another example, divide 15n squared minus 2n minus 24 by 3n minus 4. Again, isulat natin sa ganitong form ang dividend at ang divisor. First step is to arrange both dividend and divisor in descending or ascending powers of common variables, leaving a space or replacing the missing term with Zero. So dito kung mapapansin yung ating dividend ay nakaform na in descending order wherein ang pinakamataas na exponent ay 2, sinunda ng 1, and then 0. Pero kapag walang nakalagay dito na negative 2n, ibig sabihin ang highest exponent ay 2, tapos walang exponent na 1, tapos ang nasundan agad ay 0, maglalagay tayo ng 0 dito sa ating negative 2n. Pero since meron tayong Exponent na 1 sa ating dividend, so proceed tayo sa second step. Divide the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the quotient. So, i-divide na natin ang 15n squared sa 3n. Again, hindi natin i-divide ang 15n squared sa negative 4. Magagamit lang natin ang negative 4 kapag magmumultiply na tayo ng ating quotient. So, 15n squared divided by 3n is... 5n because 15 divided by 3 is 5 and n squared divided by n is n because 2 minus 1 is 1. 
And then, yung nakuha nating sagot ay hindi natin itatapat dito. Itatapat natin siya sa term ng dividend na magkatulad ng exponent. So, since may 1 na exponent dito, doon natin itatapat yung nakuha nating quotient. Proceed na tayo sa third, uh, sa third step. Multiply the entire divisor by term of the quotient and write the product under the dividend of similar terms. So, yung nakuha nating quotient na 5n ay imumultiply na natin sa divisor o sa buong divisor. So, 5n times 3n is 15n squared and 5n times negative 4 is negative 20. Next is the fourth step. Subtract similar terms, apply rules in subtracting polynomials. So, isubtract na natin yung mga terms. Kapag subtraction, i-apply ang keep change change. So, ang minus ay magiging plus. Ang 15n squared ay magiging negative. At ang negative 20n ay magiging positive. So, since magkaiba na silang ng sign, automatic that is 0. Negative 2n and positive 20 magkaiba ng sign, subtract. And then, copy the sign of the bigger number. That is 18n. Since ang sign o ang bigger number ay 20n, kokopyahin natin yung sign ng 20 which is positive. And then, the fifth step is to bring down unused terms of the dividend. I-bring down na natin yung hindi pa nagagamit na constant which is negative 24. Sixth step is to divide the first term of the difference by the first term of the divisor to get the second term of the quotient. So, ngayon, i-divide naman natin ang 18n sa 3n. 18n divided by 3n is positive 6 because 18 divided by 3 is 6 and n divided by n is, is 1. So, hindi na natin ilalagay, ilalagay yung 1 dito because 6 times 1 is 6. Next is 2. Repeat steps 3 to 6 until the result of, subtra of subtraction is 0 or the degree of the term of the difference is less than the degree of the divisor. So, ituloy na natin yung solving by dividing or by multiplying positive 6 to 3n minus 4. So, positive 6 times 3n is positive 8n. Positive 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. And then, subtract. Minus will now become plus. 18n will now become negative 18n. And negative 24 will now become positive 24. Magkaiba sila ng sign i-minus. 18n minus 18n is 0. Ganito din ang gagawin natin sa negative 24 at positive 24. So that is 0. And 0 is the remainder. Therefore, um, the, pro, uh, the quotient of 15n squared minus 2n minus 24 and 3n minus 4 is 5n plus 6. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this video. The rules in multiplication of polynomials. To multiply monomial to monomial, you have to uh, simply multiply the numerical coefficients, then multiply the literal coefficients by applying the basic laws of exponent. To multiply polynomial, ah, uh, sorry, to multiply monomial to polynomial, you have to apply the distributive property and follow the rule in multiplying monomial by a monomial. Polynomial to polynomial, so to multiply polynomial by another polynomial, each term in the multiplier is multiplied by each of the terms in the multiplicand. Then the products are added and similar terms are combined. Next is rules in division of polynomials, monomial by monomial. To divide a monomial by another monomial, simply divide the numerical coefficients and follow the rule in dividing monomial by a mo monomial. Next is polynomial by monomial. So to divide a polynomial by a monomial, each term of the polynomial is divided by the monomial. Last is the polynomial by polynomial. So the process of dividing a polynomial by another polynomial is similar to that of dividing whole numbers. It is necessary that the polynomials are arranged in descending powers of one of the variables involved. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!